With Wisconsinites already voting, one of the names that will appear on your ballot is dropping out and backing his competitor. Alex Lazary was running in the Democrat primary for U.S. Senate. Now he is out. Our Jason Calvi joins us live with why. Well, Steph, he tells me he had no path forward, that it really wasn't in the data, that the data was not showing that he was going to win this Democratic primary. But it's less than two weeks before that primary, and as people are already early voting, his name will still be on your ballot. As Wisconsin casts early votes. I'm shocked. I just voted for him. Alex Lazary ends his 17-month run to be Wisconsin's U.S. Senator. I don't think that we lost. Mandela won. <laughs> He's backing his former competitor, Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes. When we realized there was no pathway forward to win, um, this became a simple decision. Um, and it was made easier knowing by the person that I was getting behind. This year we have the chance to finally get rid of Scott Walker, one of the worst senators that this state has ever had. No, former Governor Scott Walker is not in this race. If Barnes wins the August 9th Democratic primary, he'll actually go up against Republican Senator Ron Johnson in November. A June Marquette poll had Barnes just a few points ahead of Lazary, with Wisconsin Treasurer Sarah Godlewski behind them. Lazary pumped more than 12 million of his own dollars into this campaign, including some in recent weeks. Was there some opposition research that maybe led you to say, I got to get out of this race now, protect my family? There was no opposition research. There was no nothing, right? What, what we saw was the data. And I can't thank the people who have voted for me and supported this campaign enough. And there's no one more disappointed and hurt by not being able to come through for them than me. Lazary's a Bucks exec and son of a co-owner of the team. He was on leave but tells me he'll be returning to the team First, he says he wants to spend time with his wife and baby girl. That leaves those already voting for him with big questions. That should have been done before early voting. Now, Republicans use today's news to attack the likely Democratic frontrunner, saying Barnes will push a radical agenda. Now, if you already did cast your ballot for Alex Lazary, there is a process in Wisconsin called spoiling your ballot, which really voids your already turned in absentee ballot and allows you then to revote. If you want to do that process, you really need to check in with your local municipal clerk. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. I'd love to know the percentage of ballots that are spoiled over the course of a year. It can't be that many, right? Yeah, you wouldn't think so, but it is a process that's there. You do have the right to spoil your mm -hmm. ballot. So if you voted for Lazarus and you want to change your mind now and vote for someone else, you have that right to do that. Or if you're voting for maybe Kevin Nicholson on the Republican side, he's out of this race on the governor's side running right. for governor. So there are opportunities now for people to switch their votes after these candidates leave the race in the middle of early voting. Good reminders. A lot of people don't know about that. Jason Calvi reporting live for us tonight. Thanks, Jason.